welcome to another Thunder Laser tutorial on behalf of Thunder Laser Global. So today I'm going to show you how to 2.5D cut with the standard 2 inch lens that the Thunder Laser normally comes with. Now our end game is to 2.5D engrave into this cutting board. Now this is a brand new cutting board. Uh, it's pressed or should we say I suppose man-made um, bamboo in actual fact. It's made of bamboo compressed which is a very very hard material but um, it is fairly consistent all by these little knotted areas so it's, it's not too bad now when you're engraving into a substrate wood um, it's always better to get a consistent material another consistent material another cutting board now this is rubber wood okay so it's rubber tree wood uh, and of course this has been seasoned and, and made into uh, a cutting board it's very hard wood again but it engraves really well so why I'm showing you this is what I found is most people that buy a thunder laser are looking to get their investment back in other words use it as a hobby that uh, you can actually make things to sell um, or strictly as a business machine because that's what they are they are a business machine so I'm going to show you I suppose how to make money with your thunder laser so if you're just starting off uh, you may have had some experience with something like a K40 and you've moved up to something like a Nova 35 like this one so Nova 35 100 watt and it's a serious machine so I'm gonna take you right from the very beginning all the way through to what, 3d engraving over the next series of videos so this cutting board was eight dollars and you can very easily turn this eight dollar cutting board into a twenty eight dollar cutting board in approximately ten minutes with your thunder laser and I'm going to show you how to do that so the subject matter I'm going to be using for this experimentation because a lot of laser work is all experimentation to get this right into a piece of material that I normally use fairly good quality uh, I think this is uh, what 8 mil something like that which is uh, oh whew. 5 sixteenths, 8 millimeter. anyway, um, fairly good quality ply board. Now, it's fairly dense and fairly regular material, so, uh, you know, you can get, uh, it's a good material to try out on. Try the settings, because that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get the settings right for normally a certain particular material uh, but we don't want to go wasting cutting boards so uh, I'm going to take this material and get the settings right on this and it should be right for hardwood or bamboo so we'll set up with light burn and I'll show you how to do the settings in light burn and I'll show you what I think it should be 
because you know I've had 100 watt lasers before and I've had lots of experience with much bigger lasers too um, so I've got a pretty good idea what it should be but uh, you know this laser is fairly new to me as well so um, I'll learn with you I think my big head is out of the way, so I think you should be able to see what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do is resize this to a manageable size, because I want to get probably six or eight uh, copies of this on that piece of wood to get the correct settings. Uh, so I'm going to go up here, and we've got the, the lock locked. In other words, we've locked the aspect ratio. We're going to go on this set here. I'm going to set it to, uh, I think, 110 millimeters and just click over that and it'll jump to 110 millimeters. Let's uh, zoom out here a second. So that's my table. I'm going to position this uh, just off center slightly. I like to set um, my programs up to well there it is on the, the that's what it's going to be on the table and that's roughly where the datum point is going to be there uh, I like to set it up on or in the program first so we're going to zoom into that so we've got a nice fairly big copy of it. So we're going to come over here and click twice. Now, okay, in Lightbird, if you have the air assist turned off, um, with the Thunder Laser you are going to get a low pressure blow, uh, which for engraving or anything like that other than cutting, that's what you require. Now, this is actually set fairly, probably fairly fair, should I say, because uh, the last time I used this, I used it to etch the um, the name Thunder Laser, you know, in text, and it turned out very well. Um, so I, I'm going to say, okay, 300, which is pretty well 12 inches. I, I just get a rule a second, just check that. Now here we go. Um, 300 millimeters is, it's, what, well, 3 sixteenths or thereabouts shy of a foot. All right, so it's... Uh, probably 300 and um, about 304 millimeters to a foot roughly speaking okay so that's around about 12 inches um, per second of travel speed which is pretty fair and now this is a hundred watt laser and uh, I will tell you now that even if you put this to 100%, it is calibrated, or the Thunder Laser is calibrated to only put out its maximum of 100 watts. So you do not or cannot overrun, uh, overrun the laser tube, or shall we say, put out. Uh, more power than what you are supposed to with it so that's a good thing so we're going to run at 50 percent that doesn't necessarily mean it's 50 watts because it is not a linear calibration uh, it could be 55 or it may be even 60 watts output of actual energy down at the nozzle uh, we'll go more into that in the future minimum power of 10 actually with this because it is a picture and there are some greys in here that are going to be at a lesser 
hike then. This is two and a half D carving by the way. I think I'm going to put that to five because I know that this particular 100 watt laser will actually fire all the way down to 3% output which is pretty incredible and also Stucky is probably the best fit um, for this type of engraving there are you know several different types that you can use um, half tone and grayscale um, uh, obviously half tone normally used for things like uh, um, you know, black and white pictures or something like that you could also use uh, Sucky or even Jarvis um, grayscale really just for 3D carving I would say but um, Stucky I'm going to stick with that uh, and this is the type of pattern then that uh, is is going to the laser is going to uh, produce this is the spot pattern um, the other thing we're going to look at is uh, 0 0.1 step over scan line that is fine uh, number of passes just one um, okay so we're going to okay that Uh, happy with all that, so I'm now going to send it to the laser. Laser switched on, um, and we're going to rename that to. Um, I will just go uh, test one, eh? Uh, that's another thing too. You can only put about. Um, I think maximum maybe even eight characters here uh, because the laser just won't uh, accept any more characters than that. Okay. That's sent over pretty damn quick. Alright, so we'll go to the controller now and um, set that up. Okay, so here we are at the controller. So what you need to do to get this into the controller is press File And when this finishes loading, press enter. And now it is logged in to the system. So now we'll set our material up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take our material and just place it on the on the bed so long as it is between the infrared sensors, one here and there's one on the other side. Uh, we're now going to set the Z height. We escape out of that and press menu, autofocus, enter. That is now focused. Okay, so now we've got that in the center. We're going to bring the, the head over somewhere here, somewhere just off the center. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring this all the way over here, like that, because that's where it's going to be. Press frame. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to have to shut the lid and we will run this test and see what happens.
Oh my gosh! That might not look much at the moment. Just give me two minutes to clean that up. Just with uh, ordinary tap water and uh, a toothbrush, very lightly. Give me two minutes. I don't know whether the lights in here are going to do that justice. That is near perfect. Of course with uh, plywood uh, it's etched away the top layer if you notice there. The top layer is a light wood layer and it's uh, etched away to in some places to reveal the darker wood underneath. That's why it looks slightly darker than normal. But that, that's perfect. That's what we're looking for. Um, okay, that was at 300 millimeters a second. I think if I took it up to 500, it would uh, make it look what it actually used to do in my old laser. Um, well, actually, even at 300 on my old laser, probably a little bit too much for it. But um, you know, to get a, a really perfect engraving, um, I'm going to run this at 500 and see, compare the difference, see what happens. Okay, uh, let's turn, swing the light a bit. So this one's the first one which was 300. This one's 500. You can see we've lost a little bit of the clarity. And I've brought it back down to 350 which is quite acceptable actually. Uh, and into timber this would probably be just fine but as we're going into quite hard material being bamboo I think I'm going to go with these settings and the power settings were all the same it was 50% um, maximum and 5% minimum and this was done on Stucky So I think, yeah, that's going to be the one that we're going to use. So let's resize it and uh, we'll cut it. So the first thing I'm going to do is focus. Okay. I just brought it over roughly to the area, it's just to a frame. Okay. Let's try that. Over slightly, frame again. So it needs to go up slightly. Try again. And a millimeter this way. Try again. Fairly happy with that, so let's close the lid. Oh, 
I'll drop the camera down a little, I think. Okay, see if I can give you a front row seat to this. So here we go. It's a little damp because I've just given it a scrubbing, but it's actually a perfect representation into bamboo. Of course, a bit damp at the moment, but uh, once it's dried out, it'll it, the colour will be sort of more uniform. Although there is different gradients, uh, you know, dark and light uh, within the bamboo, like there's a darker stripe here and here. Um, that's unavoidable with bamboo. But, oh my gosh, that's damn good, actually. And it, I don't know whether you noticed, I don't even know whether I said actually but when you um, engrave or etch something like bamboo that has a like a heavy grain pattern you need to go with the grain don't have it up this way and go across the grain because you get a better finish if you if you sort of go with the grain so there you go. So the Thunder Laser is capable of very easily knocking, uh, if you're doing these singularly, it'll do between three and four an hour. But if you gang these up on the table, you know, like, um, let's see, one, two, three, you might get four. Even if you've got three, you get three, you get nine on there. So you could put all your blanks on there in set positions, okay, which you would set in the program. And you could do a, a batch of nine in, well, probably about um, two hours or so. And you're making minimum of twenty dollars profit 
on each one. Now you're not going to, you know, you can't go making sort of, uh, you know, 30, 40 of these a day and expect to sell all of them, or you'd be very lucky if you could. So what you do is you make 40 or 50 of these and you put them in stock and you build up your catalogue of items that you make. Uh, this type of item, you know, cutting boards, obviously you cut on this side and this side is an ornament. So you can make variations of this. It doesn't have to be a Mayan calendar. This one is just uh, a complex one. You know, that you can sort of, uh, I, I can show you that it will do a very complex design very quickly. And how to get there. That is what this video has been all about. Showing you how to get there and giving you some inspiration in the types of things that you can do. And again, this is uh, technically called two and a half D carving. Uh, because it is two and a half D dimensional, it is not 3D. Okay, although it gives the impression of 3D, it's not. Um, talking about 3D, over the next few videos, we are going to go. You know, we might be able to jump straight into a 3D carving. There's not too many steps between this and a 3D carving. Except there's a, you know, a lot of people have the misconception about the types of files that you can really use for a 3D carving. And we will go into all that type of thing. So. If you've liked this video, please press like and subscribe. And if you really like what I'm doing, you may consider becoming a patron to the channel uh, because there is no ad revenue as such now. 90% is gone. Unfortunately, but uh, that's the way things are these days. Um, so yes, this channel uh, is basically supported by the patrons. Patron information is below this video in the video description area. And if you don't like the idea of patron and regular payments or anything like that, there's a little hat just down below this video here that's provided by Google. And you can buy me a cup of coffee if you like. Uh, you know, sort of a, a couple of dollars goes a long way into buying something like this so I can show you guys how it's done. So, until the next video, which quite possibly could be, you know, 3D work, thank you for joining me. And of course, Thunder Laser Global. It's bye for now.